everybody, Lisa here. Today I'm going to do a uh, fall flowers. Uh, it's going to be a swipe and I'm going to make flowers with a bottle bottom. I've never done this before. I don't know how it's going to work. So it's going to be an experiment for all of us. What I'm going to do is put my colors in the bottom of this little McDonald's salad cover and um, let them set. None of my colors have any treadmill lubricant in it, so I will add a couple drops in the pan as I layer the paints in there. The colors I'm using today will be in the description of the video. I've got about eight colors that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the colors that I'm using for the actual flowers in the McDonald's salad top tray. Before I do that, I'm going to spray my tray with blaster silicone so that the paint doesn't stick to it. When you use the blaster, it's better to spray away from your canvas because you don't want it on there. It will keep your paint from sticking. swirl around and let that set while I'm getting my canvas ready. I also intend to use some of these um, extra fine glitter in the onyx color on top of the black parts of my canvas. I'm going to use Artist Loft Flow Black to put onto my canvas as the background color. And I don't think I told you, this is an eight by 20 canvas that I purchased through Jerry's Artorama. I'm gonna be using my OXO omelet spatula to spread the paint. If you guys don't have one of these, you might wanna get one. They are pretty awesome. I'm going to use my propane torch a little bit to make sure I have all the bubbles out. While I got the black paint out, I'm going to pour a little bit in the cup and mix some treadmill silicone into it. Since none of my colors have any silicone, I need to uh, do that to create some cells. couple swirls in the cup. Not too much. Okay, now I'm going to begin to put my colors for my swipe. I don't really worry about them being covering the paint because when I swipe, they're going to be pushed together anyway. I'm going to use the black that I had pre-mixed in my cup that contains the treadmill lubricant, which is pure silicone. I'm going to use that as my swipe color. I have my pre-moistened paper towel to use to swipe. You just lay it in the paint and let it absorb some of the paint and then gently pull down. I already see some beautiful cells coming up. Even though I already have covered them, just make a really pretty pattern. Okay, I see some beautiful cells coming up. Give that a few minutes to see what happens. Then I'm going to torch it to see if I can get any more cells to come up. While I'm waiting for that, I think I'm going to put a little bit more color in my dish here. 
colors look stunning. Let's hit this with a torch. This pops any bubbles and lets any cells pop through the paint. This is pretty stunning. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my bottle bottom. It's uh, five pointed at the bottom. It's a Propel Water. Some of them are only four, but I wanted to get five to have a more flower look. So I'm dipping it in my tray of paint right now. And I'm hoping this works. I've never tried it. I'm going to press it into the black paint. cells coming up on my flowers. Very cool so far. So now I'm going to add a little bit of green in the center of each of my flowers just to give it more definition. Take my skewer. some of the flowers that didn't get as much paint as I'd like to see on them. Really pretty though. I really love what this bottom did right here where I swiped it. Very happy with all those cells. I'm just going to take my skewer and come in with this. Continue to pull the paint through. I don't know what you would call these flowers. They're a little star-like, but I love the way they look. Okay, now I'm putting a little bit of green into one of the palette cups and I'm going to drag to make stems. I normally would use my bottle, but it's kind of too flowy right now. I think the paint's a little thin for this.
kind of flowers these are. Maybe they're flowers that grow on a vine. That's what it looks like right now. That's the beautiful thing of paint pouring. It's all abstract and it can be whatever you want it to be. Really, really loving how this looks. I'm gonna try something I've never tried before, see if I can do a leaf. Try another leaf. more bubbles and get more cells to come up. garish looking. Okay, that added a hint of glitter there, not too much. All in all, I'm really happy with this. I think it came out beautiful. Stay tuned for close-ups. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. See you next time. Bye.